Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our live agent training. I hope everybody's having a great morning so far, great lunchtime, great Wednesday, and also a great week. Welcome to our live agent training. My name is Erin, and today we're going to be focusing on a feedback system that we have available to you in our system. So today I'm going to show you how to set up the feedback system using our open house registration app as well as just setting up a basic feedback request for just regular showings that you have with your clients. So um, I'm going to be focusing on that today. Next week our topic is going to be on property widgets and we're going to go through how to get the property widgets set up and do all of that for you. Um, some things that we are working on, we are trying to get the neighborhood watch postcards and all of that set up for you to be able to have that done towards the end of the year. So as soon as that's done, we'll definitely do a webinar on that to show you how to get that going and all of that. So as soon as that's done, I will definitely let you know and keep you in the loop with everything. Other than that, we're just chugging along with trying to get some new things ready for next year and it's kind of that time of the year where we're just trying to Kind of get things buttoned up and ready to go for a new fresh start in January. So if you have any questions or suggestions or anything like that, definitely let us know. We love to hear from you and love to make sure that we're doing everything we possibly can to get you going with agent marketing. So with that being said, I did want to give you a quick reminder and let you know that you being one of our favorite agents in the system, you do actually get free customization with your property websites as well as your personal website. So be sure to call our support hotline number to get your free marketing makeover. I did want to let you know that with the marketing makeover, you do get free customization for your property website, your personal website. Also, you get custom sign writers and property business card and postcard templates that can be designed for you. And a part of the marketing makeover and going through the design process and all of that, we do give you your first sign writer and your first set of property business cards for free. So if you have not taken advantage of that, you must do it because it's such a great thing to get and it's all free. You do not have to pay anything extra, no setup fees, no design fees, nothing. We give you the free customization. On top of that, you get a free sign writer and free property business cards. So. If you're not taking advantage of that offer, I'm not sure what else I can say, but it's such a great deal and it's such a great feature for you to be able to utilize with your personal marketing in agent marketing. So you're able to create your brand and your look and really just stand out and be the best of the best of, of all agents. And you know, something I'm going to say that might help you kind of give you a better wraparound as to why the customization is so important. If you are with one brokerage and you decide you want to move to a next the next brokerage. If you have a website built through your brokerage currently and then you decide you want to move, then you have to start fresh with your new website at your new brokerage. With agent marketing, you can just pick up that information and move it to the next and all we have to do is switch the colors and logos out for you and all of your marketing stays exactly the same. So it's just kind of something that I wanted to throw out there for you. You know, if you're if you're kind of looking to switch companies or maybe you're looking to kind of build new websites or new marketing plan for next year, definitely look into what we have to offer for you because it's such a great thing to take with you. It's your marketing. It makes you stand out as an agent and really can display and show everything that you possibly can can have. So you know, we're a one-stop shop. We have everything that you'll need. If there's something we don't have, let us know. We're here to help. We're here to stand out and be the best marketing platform for you. We really want to make sure that we're helping you grow your business and be successful. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into our topic. We are going to be doing the feedback request. So there's two different options that you can do for the feedback request. So I'm going to show you the first way and then the second way. And if you have any questions along the way, I do have the question box open up, so feel free to ask those questions as we go through everything. So what we can do for feedback requests. So we have a feedback system in agent marketing. Basically what a feedback request through the system is, is when you have your, your open house or your showing, you can have a little feedback email sent to the consumer, the agent, the client, anybody who came to your open house or you did a showing for. You can send them an email. It's also sent through the system too, so you don't really necessarily have to do anything, and I'll show you how cool it is to have it to, to automate it and everything. 
But what happens is you can have the feedback request email sent out to your client, consumer, other agent. They can fill it out, and then it sends it back to you automatically. So now you have all of the information that consumers talked about in your open house or in your showing, so you can kind of see what people are thinking. So the first way to get that set up in the system, we have a really cool uh, open house registration app called lookyleads.com. So you'll see here it says lookyleads.com. That's all the website is. What lookyleads.com is, it's an open house registration app. With lookyleads.com, this is something that you can use when you have your open houses. Now the number one question I get asked is, how do we capture the information of the consumer when they say they don't want to enter in their information? The way that I look at it is, you can say, you know, our sellers have asked us to actually make sure that everybody registers for security purposes, so it would be greatly appreciated if you don't mind you put your information in. We, uh, you know, we will send you a little text message with some information about the property, so it's your little flyer that you can take with you. And then if you have any questions, just let us know. We're here to help. So that's something that you can kind of go into about saying it. When, can, when they don't want to register, just say, you know, for security purposes, the sellers have asked me to make sure everybody who comes through the open house today does register, so we just want to have it. They can't say no to that. So really, that's something that I've actually had some agents test out, and it's worked for them. So that's a little suggestion you can use when you're having consumers go to your open house or your agents go. So the way it works is when you go to lookyleads.com, you can create a free account. You can sync it up with your agent marketing account in the system. So with Lucky Leads, you can, you'll see that you have an agent marketing setup. So you'll just enter in your login information and your password, and you will be able to import your information in from your agent marketing account. Now the cool thing is, is with this, we'll go ahead and pull your agent information, your company information, and also your property. So you don't have to go through and enter in your property. So you can do that. Pretty simple to get that done. Now you can go to your property list here, and it says no properties found. So let's go ahead and add in a property into this open house registration app. So we're going to go ahead and click on the add button here. And it says pull from agent marketing or manually input. So you have two options you can do to add in your listings. You can pull them from agent marketing, or you can manually input them in. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the listing from agent marketing. So it's going to pull up the two listings that I have available on here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on 24 Main Street. So now this listing has been added onto my property list. So say that it's Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock and I'm going to start my open house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into Lucky Leads and I'm going to click on this 24 Main Street listing here. Now it has all of the property details here and now I have an option to start the open house. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Start Open House. So now when consumers walk in, they can start registering when they come to the open house. So you can have it on an iPad, tablet, laptop, computer, anything that has, uh, that has a way to pull up this app, you'll be able to utilize. So the way it works is the consumer would come in. So I'm going to say that myself is a consumer. So I'm just going to fill out my information here. And then I'm going to put in my email. And now it's going to save the visitor. So when I hit enter, then it went ahead and it, it pushed me into the, the system. And now the next consumer who comes in can fill out their information. Now, when the agent or when the consumer hits enter and fills out that information, it will send them a text message automatically right then and right there with a link to the mobile website. So then they can have that flyer directly on their phone. They can have that information directly on their phone. And it's a good way for you to be able to tell if they put in real information or not. Because if their phone's not going off, you could say, oh, you should now just have gotten a text message that has the property details directly on your phone and a link to the website so you can take a look at to get more information. So they get that instant information right away. So now that we've captured all of our consumer agents' information, we can go ahead and click on this little gear icon here. And then it's going to go ahead and log me back in to my agent market or my Lucky Leads account. So now what I can do is I can go to the visitor list. So it will tell me all of the visitors who registered for that open house when they were there. So we'll go ahead and pull up this information. It will tell you which listing, when they did the texting feature, when they subscribed to this. You can also make notes 
too in this. So this is something, so say that this agent or this consumer here uh, not interested in this home but likes one down the street. So now we know that this, this consumer is really interested but they're not interested in this specific home but they like the one down the street. So now I can follow up with them and say, hey, you weren't interested in 24 Main Street, but 15 Main Street I know really caught your attention. So let's go ahead and get you down to that house. So it's something you can kind of go about like that and be able to share the notes and have all of this stuff available to you. So now that we've saved this information, we can return and hold another open house or go into our other consumers. So we're done with this here. This is all done now. Our open house is done. Now we're going to go back into agentmarketing.com here. So when we go into agentmarketing.com, you'll see here, let me go ahead and refresh it here. So now for our listing here, this is a little feedback area. So now we have a number one under here. So what that means is there's a feedback system request that was requested. When you have an open house, it does it for you automatically. We capture their cell phone number and send them a text. We capture their email and send them an email with a little feedback request about the property. So you can go in and view and see what it looks like. So I'll pull it up here so you can see what it looks like. Your logo would be here at the top and your agent information is listed here. The property details are on here and it says, hello, thank you very much for viewing 24 Main Street in Aliso Viejo. If I could trouble you for just a moment and ask you for some feedback. So now when they go ahead and scroll down, they can fill out these six little questions and even add additional comments. Once they, once they go ahead and hit submit feedback, it will notify you that the feedback has been filled out and it will give you their answers and what they came up with. So now this is a quick and easy way to get that, that feedback information sent directly to you. If you are just doing a private showing or maybe a, a feedback request for one person in particular, you can click on this add new button under the feedback system. So we'll go ahead and click on add new. We can do the date of the showing. So say that you had a showing on the 18th at 2.45 p.m. So we'll just go ahead and put 2.45 p.m. here. And then you can do private showing. And then we'll go ahead and put in our consumer's information. So I'm going to say Sally Sample. Oops, Sally Sample. And we'll say Sally at sampleemail.com. And then their phone number. Very good. So is that autofill? Three two eight five thousand here. Doesn't want to do it for me. Either way, so we have their their phone number in here, their email, and all of their information. And you can choose to do showing or open house. So you can do either one. And then you'll just click on save. So now their information has been saved. So we see that we have a private showing, and then they went to an open house. So now what you can do is you can click send and it sends that feedback request to the specific age or the specific consumer who is there. You can view what they've said and you also have an option to edit the details. So when you click on the little edit options here, you can go back through and you can edit any of this information at any time. So now let's go ahead and there are another thing that you can do for the, the actual showing feedback system. So just so you know too, the feedback will send as soon as you click the send button or as soon as it's done automatically for you. It will send it five times until they either fill it out or that fifth date has ended and they don't fill it out. You'll know if they went ahead and filled it out because you'll be able to view their answers here. So just so you know, you do get notified when they do fill it out, but if for any reason that fifth email was sent and they don't fill it out, then you know that you weren't able to get that information. So then maybe you can follow up with them and say, hey, I sent you a feedback request but didn't get that filled or didn't get your information. So I just wanted to see, you know, what did you think about the property? And you can ask them face to face or on the phone. So to set up the feedback questions, you have a couple different options. We do have pre-generated questions and a little greeting for you. You do have an option to change it though if you want to. Under the property tab here at the very top, you'll see that you have an options section. So we're going to go ahead and click property on the property tab and then click on options. And you'll see over to the right hand side, you have a feedback reading. So this is going to say thank you very much for viewing and then it will auto populate the address in the city. 
if I could trouble you for just a moment and ask you some, for some feedback. You can change this if you want to. This gives you an option to be able to customize it and change it. Also, we do provide six feedback questions, and you can change these questions as well. When you do it through the property and then through options, it goes down to all of your properties. So just kind of keep that in mind. And when you're doing the questions, make sure that you want to do them in an agree or disagree point value format. So that way you're getting the correct answers. It won't make sense, what did you think of this home? And then it says agree or disagree. So you kind of have to think about it in that. So um, something too, also, do not change your feedback questions receiving feedback as this would make the charts reports confusing or meaningless. So if you're changing these, make sure you change them before you start getting those feedback uh, requests sent back to you. You also have an option to change them per property. So maybe you want to change it a little bit different, make it something a little bit different for a specific home. Under the little uh, wrench icon here, the tools section, we're going to go ahead and click on that. We're going to scroll down until we get to property options. So we'll go ahead and click on property options. And then you'll see that you have a feedback reading and then you have feedback questions. Now these are going to be for this specific listing only. So if you're changing them under the property tab and options, that's going to go for all of your properties. Or you can go through the tool section for the specific property and change it under that tool section for this listing only. So you have an option to do either or, whichever you're more comfortable doing. Some like to edit per property. You may have more, um, more specific questions for each property, so you'd like to change them. You do have that as an available option for you. So that wraps up the feedback questions, uh, the, how to get the feedback system generated. Again, if you're looking for the open house app, that is lookyleads.com. You can go ahead and sign up for a free account. LookyLeads.com is a website that we've built, so if you have questions on LookyLeads or how it works, let us know. Uh, we can help you get it set up with your agent marketing account and get you all going with that. This is great if you have an open house. This is great if you are doing showings and stuff like that, so I definitely recommend using this as your open house registration app. Uh, so with that being said, any questions for me about any of the features, anything that you have, um, that I can help with. Feel free to write it in the question box right now. I'd love to answer any questions, see how I can help. Again, next week we're going to be focusing on the property widgets and get that going, um, showing you how to add them onto websites and create them and customize them and do all of the widgets. Um, if you're not sure what a widget is, it basically is a little uh, HTML format that you can add on that can either display your properties or you can have a flip book and stuff like that. So that's something that you're able to utilize. Uh, any questions? Anything I can help with? Anything? Anything? All right. Well, it doesn't look like there's any questions, so I really appreciate each one of you showing up today. Have a great rest of your Wednesday. Have a great week, and we'll see you next Wednesday. Thanks again, everyone.